Hi guys, me Claire and today I'm here with a video on bullying. It's a serious topic and yeah. So I haven't done a serious video in quite a while, so yeah. I've got some notes here um because I can't remember it off off the top of my head, so yeah. Um first of all, what is bullying? For some of you that may not know, some of you that may not have experienced it. So yeah. Bullying is the use of a superior strength or influence to intimidate someone or someone or some people, whatever. And it's typically to force them to do something that they don't, that they might not want to do and stuff. Um. So yeah, bullying is very, very common. Not everyone experiences it. Most likely everyone's going to experience it at some point in their life. Um, so bullying can be cyberbullying, which is online, using text messages, internet, social networking, etc. Um, mobbing, which is just like one person bullying someone, so it's like one person bullying an innocent person, so yep. And then there's collective bullying, which is more than one person, so say like a group of people hitting one person. Um, relation which is like doing something to hurt someone and it's meant to hurt them um, verbal which is speaking saying something to hurt them and also physical so it means you're touching them hitting them can be aggressive um, and that so yeah so bullying can happen anywhere and it can be about anything it have to be say bullying doesn't have to be about a specific thing like oh she's got red hair it can be about oh I don't know oh she's got five cars she's a bitch I want to bully her do you know what I mean it's not that sort of thing it can be about anything hair colour eye colour skin colour what cars you got where you live anything um, it can happen to anyone at any time no matter how old you are, it even happens at colleges and universities, but it's very common in middle school or high school, however you want to call it. Very, very common, and due to the modern day now, um, very common due to cyberbullying is one of the most common in high schools due to social networking. As you go into high school, you can you go into that age where you can use social networks, so yeah. Um, Advice. Advice is one of the most important things you can take in your life. Like advice and advice on anything. When you're older, you're always gonna have to use advice. Advice, advice on bullying, how to get out of it, how to sort it. One of the most important things is advice. So yeah, um, tell someone that you can trust. If it's happened to you, and it's happening several times on purpose, which is bullying say someone's doing verbal bullying and they're saying it once and then they'll say it the following day and then they'll say it an hour later and then they're in the same class as you so they'll say it the following day for the next three days that's bullying and um, tell someone that you can trust a teacher if you're in school parents if you're at home or siblings etc etc um could be anyone someone that you trust that you know will help you um in that some people do take the approach and stand up to the bullies and um, try and stand up to them to like um, make them go away, make them think that they're not as bossy and um, try and deal with their own help but sometimes they do need someone else there which is why to tell someone in that. And you can also just ignore them if it's cyberbullying, turn, I don't know, I don't know, say you're on Instagram and someone's bullying you or they're sending you messages, you can block them. Block them, report them, turn your notifications off. Done. So, say someone started messaging you on Instagram, I don't know, but saying, I don't like you, and sending several messages, you can turn the notifications off. Then you're going half an hour later, and you've got more messages from them, you can report them, and then you can block them. And reporting them will, I don't know, reporting them to the actual website that you're on, it will do something about it 
you can if you I don't know if you're in school and it's happening in school and outside of school you can take screenshots of it and take it in school um I know some people do that if it's happening inside and outside of school just ignore them try and ignore them um they're just trying to get the better out of you because they think it's funny or they just say if they're having a laugh they take it as um banter banter is actually bullying they can be hitting you, anything to do with that. It can be absolutely awful. Um, but yes, some schools do try to raise awareness for bullying, like they do bullying competitions for the posters, um, do poems and stuff. I know someone did. Um, there's some pictures on the internet and you can see it. It's a, oh, what's it called? You know those poems and it says a word and it goes down the side and they have a line for each letter, like that. Some people have those, you have signs saying stop bullying with a circle and a cross and loads of words in the middle, what bullying is. Basically, if it's happening several times and they're doing it on purpose, it's bullying. Um, so yeah, watch out for it, it's not, a nice, it's not a nice thing. If you see someone being bullied, go tell someone, it's not nice. Um, but before you tell someone, make sure it's several times and they're doing it on purpose. It doesn't matter if you are mates with them, you're not mates with them, you don't speak to any of them, you speak to the people that's bullying them. So, say if you're in a group of mates and someone starts bullying someone, you don't like it, go tell a teacher. You don't have to be forced into bullying them as well. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all later. Thanks for listening. Bye! <laughs> make sure you subscribe like and comment down below any of the series videos that i can do so yeah bye